Good morning. It is 5.55 in the morning. Heading off to the gym. You know, one word I'm thinking about this morning, and it's been on my mind for the last week, is consistency. I've been going to the gym now for nine years, and thinking about the progress that's been made, the progress that has been made at some times, and when progress has not been made like I wanted it to be made, what's the issue? Why, why is it not being made? And it's usually because it's me against me. I'm fighting a battle against the fat Preston that wants the donut, that wants to eat the junk food, that wants to eat those late night bad carbs, that gets the munchies. But in reality, I need to leave the fat Preston in the closet and stay consistent and push harder and you'll get your results and have accountability you know I think that's a big key is accountability that's what's helped me get to where I've wanted to get to and has got me a lot of progress is having either a personal trainer or having a um, someone a friend of mine that I meet at the gym or a couple buddies of mine that I meet at the gym nowadays and that's great that's that, that's that consistency part. Am I perfect? No. Is there days that I skip? Yes. Is there days that I go to the gym later than I would like to? Yes. But still, I show up. And this isn't just for the gym. This is for any part of our life. In our marriage, in our relationship with Jesus, in our relationship with our co-workers, in business, consistency is just doing, is showing up and doing just a little bit every day and that compound effect of doing that every day will add up and you'll see results down the road and I think we, we as humans are too easily swayed by a quick fix or a quick this or quick that to to get to our goals and there is no quick it's it's consistency doing the right thing getting 1% better every day to get to those goals so stay consistent